Hi everyone, let's go ahead and see how you can install TensorFlow on your Windows system. You need to visit tensorflow.org forward slash install and then forward slash pip. You will be coming to this page. On this page, you will be seeing here a lot of options to install TensorFlow on your computer. It gives you option to install on Linux, Mac OS, Windows Native and Windows WSL2. These are the two important uh, uh, link which you need to see. So earlier there was Windows Native when you can simply install TensorFlow with the Conda on your Windows computer. But nowadays you cannot install with this method. So this method is applicable only till TensorFlow 2.10 and the Python 3.10. After that, it will not install TensorFlow on your Windows. So what you need to do to install the TensorFlow on your machine? For that purpose, you need to do the setup of Windows WSL. So what is this WSL? This is a Windows subsystem for Linux. That means there is a small service of Linux which will be running on your Windows machine. And in that Linux subsystem, you will install your pip. Uh, you will install your TensorFlow using a pip and then you can use your TensorFlow. In this, we will be also installing the GPU support for the TensorFlow. And I'll be showing you how you can install this in WSL2. So you can simply click on this link. This will show you how you can install the WSL. For brevity and the clarity, I have already installed the WSL. But if you have not installed WSL, you need to open your PowerShell in your machine and you just simply no, need, need to write there WSL install. It will automatically install Windows subsystem for Linux to you. Alright, so the WSL will automatically get installed. So you open here a PowerShell. After opening this PowerShell, what you need to write here, you need to write here WSL forward uh, double hyphen install. So with, with this, you will see that the WSL will get installed. I have already installed, so it's going to launch Ubuntu subsystem in my machine instead of installing. Otherwise, it will ask you a prompt to install it. You can follow this step and install this. Once you have installed WSL, you need to come to the anaconda.com. You click on free download. Otherwise, you can simply put here download. So you will be coming here to this, uh, uh, this page. On this page, what you can do, you can select here Linux. All right. So after selecting this Linux, you need to install 64 bit installer. I mean, you need to download this 64 bit installer. It's going to download anaconda3.sh file there. So this .sh file we are going to install inside our Linux subsystem. All right. Once it is in, uh, once it is downloaded, we will be going to install it from here. But in meantime, you can check the uh, uh, you, you can check all these uh, 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 the directories which are inside this subsystem. So the, currently there is no directory inside this subsystem. You can come to here again. You can open a new PowerShell. You can write here WSL. So if you simply write there the WSL a default directory, it will open here MNT and then C users and Lakshmi. So you see there this C users Lakshmi, this is a very familiar path which we get in our Windows machine. So it has added here by default this MNT which is mount there. So it has mounted C drive users and the Lakshmi inside this if you press ls that is the list directory you will be seeing all these windows folders here you can see the download folder here as well so i write here cd and then downloads i go here inside the download i type here ls i'll be seeing here the anaconda 3 which we had just downloaded here that is present here so now we need to install this anaconda here i can simply close this there is no use of that once you have come here inside the download folder where you have downloaded the Anaconda for Linux subsystem, you need to first of all update here your subsystem. So I write here sudo apt get update. 
So this sudo will ask about the password which you have provided earlier. For me, it is root password. Your password may be different. So with this index of your Ubuntu subsystem will get updated. Once this index is updated, you need to install here pip as well. So that you can install with sudo apt install python3 pip so this is going to install pip for python3 i have already installed otherwise it will install for you once all these things are done then you can install anaconda so to install the anaconda i'm going to write here bash then i write here the anaconda and then press the tab it will automatically put the file name here Thereafter, I provide here the minus B minus U minus P. So basically, it's going to accept all the license, all the default uh, setup. It is not going to ask anything to us. It will simply install Anaconda. Otherwise, there are the license. You need to check the path. All these steps will get skipped from here. I'm going to provide here the default password, uh, default path where it installs. So the default pass path is here the anaconda 3. So the, this one is default path to install the anaconda. All right. Once I do all these steps, it is not going to prompt anything to confirm. Otherwise, it is a tedious process. It will be asking you a lot of permissions to install this anaconda in your Linux subsystem. If you choose this, it's going to install it straightforward. All right, so we are going to wait for some time while it is installing it. So installation is finished here as you can check it here. OK, so it has successfully installed that you can check it here. Something like this CD and then you, you, you come here home directory and then you check here LS Anaconda 3 is installed here. Once installation is done, now we need to initialize Anaconda. To initialize Anaconda, we need to write here, we need to go inside the Anaconda. So I write here Anaconda 3 and thereafter you need to go inside the bin directory and then you need to go inside the Conda. I initialize here the bash profile. I need to, I, I mean to say that I initialized Anaconda 3 in bash profile. Thereafter, I'm going to initialize Anaconda for our, uh, 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 the bash profile again here so these two things are done here thereafter we are going to check this bash profile so that we check here the nano bash rc and you need to come here down just to verify that if it is added here so you check and you can check it here the anaconda path is added in your bash profile successfully Control and X, you can cut that. Thereafter, you need to reopen your uh, uh, you need to reopen your WSL subsystem here. So I just write here again WSL. Now you can check it here by default. This is activated here. If you just just uh, 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 zoom it a little, I type here the Conda. You can check it here. The Conda is installed there. I check here the Python. So the Python 3.11 is installed here. So currently by the time I'm making this video, uh, TensorFlow GPU does not support Python 3.11.5. So what we need to do here, we need to install Python 3.10. So for that purpose, you need to create a new environment which is going to support Python 3.10. So here is the command which I have written. So basically we are going to install Python 3.10 here. Alright, so with this, in fact, here you need to write Python is equal to 3.10. So this Python 3.10 will get installed as a new environment and inside that we will be installing TensorFlow. So it asks about installing all the necessary libraries. I say yes. So it has installed all these necessary libraries and then I activate here Python 3.10. Thereafter, you need to come here and you need to scroll it a little down. I'm going to use here pip. So I will install it using pip install upgrade pip. So this you need to upgrade your pip if you haven't done that. 
so it has installed latest version of pip thereafter for all gpu user i need to copy this from here and then i need to paste it here all right let's go ahead and run this it's going to install all the necessary libraries so it seems like uh, all these necessary libraries are already installed here if you haven't installed it will ask about you to install these and it will take a little time to install all these necessary libraries so it has successfully installed all the necessary libraries thereafter you need to scroll it a little down and then you can verify your gpu setup copy it from here and then paste it here you should be able to see there a gpu listing so it will take a while to show you the gpu so it says that these gpu devices is available here inside inside my python 3.10 environment so we have successfully installed gpu here let's go ahead and see now how you can connect your windows linux subsystem with your traditional windows machine so there is no difference here basically you can uh, uh, you, you can go inside the download directory here if you want to go and then you can install here your jupyter notebook like you used to do something like this so it says that jupyter notebook is not found and it is it, it asks about to install jupyter notebook i'm going to install this here since we created here a new uh, uh, we created here new environment so in that environment notebook was not installed so it will take a take a while to install this so your notebook has installed here let's go ahead and start here jupyter notebook now it has successfully started here you can copy any of these urls and you can paste it in your browser where you want to open your notebook i paste it here i can see my notebook has successfully opened in my windows folder so the windows download folder if you open your explorer you check it here windows download folder so you can see here svm step by step tutorial all these i can open these notebook from here or you can create a new notebook so by default i'm opening here a new notebook like support vector machine step by step classification other than that you can create here a new notebook if you want so it will create here a new notebook and then you can run here any uh you know any code you want to import here i mean any code you want to uh any code you want to run it here so by default it says that the pandas is not installed obviously we have created there a new we created their new environment so you need to install pandas there or whatever uh pip install pandas or whatever the library you need to use you need to install that before using that all right so that's how you see there and if you want to create if you want to open your vs code studio with that you can do as well so you want to connect your wsl here and uh, if it doesn't connect let's say something like this where you have a new uh, uh, new window where it is not connected so you click on here thereafter you can connect these to wsl it will automatically connect with your wsl otherwise if you want to open any folder in your wsl and uh, your folder is inside windows machine you can simply come here or you can press control shift and p control shift p and then you type there wsl and then you will see their open folder in wsl otherwise you can write their open folder in wsl so you click on here it will ask you to open any folder in wsl let's say i want to open this svm in wsl i select that it is going to select wsl here thereafter it is going to open this folder in wsl environment and do remember this file is this file is located in my windows system so here uh, a kind of uh, you know uh, tunneling is being created where your file is stored on your windows system but your notebook will be using a system which is running on wsl all right so that's how you can use windows and windows subsystem for linux together we have successfully installed here tensorflow 
on Windows WSL2. All right. If you have liked this video, please subscribe this channel. Come to my channel KGP Talky here. You click on here, subscribe this channel and you can click on here playlist. I have so many playlists which you can watch to get started with your machine learning journey. Thanks a lot for watching this. I'll see you in next one.